The alarm will be activated in 40 seconds. I think I might be able to get my hands untied. No, not enough time. Better to stand. We'll have to go through. Come on, let's go this way. No! This way. It's wider. Okay, we'll split the difference. Go through the middle. 30 seconds. Let's climb over it. Under's better. Roll! 20 seconds. What are we gonna do now? Stand up. All right. I'll lift you over the laser, then you lift me over. How's that gonna duck? Do I have to do everything? Seven. Six. No, not five, like this. We'll four, set off the alarm. Three. Two. One. Two. Your failure to complete the trading mission is alarming, pun intended. Well, if Silverstone had listened to me instead of trying to make the training mission highlight real... Hmm. Someone had to take control. I just did what I thought was best. Ah, but this was not a solo mission. The exercise was to be completed together. But don't worry. We have all day to get it right. All day? Building trust takes time. You don't always have to get along, but you must be able to work together. Flawlessly, no matter what the condition. Doesn't get much closer than this. Hmm. And cut. Hey, Jet. Got the tabloids again. I told you, I am not dating Madonna. No, man, this is straight from the paper. They found gold in Wilstead. Silverstone, the ultimate action hero. Top agent for a secret organization. Saving the world one mission at a time. At least that's who I play on TV. In real life, I'm Jet Jackson. Being a TV star is cool, but being a regular kid is even better. So I had the show moved back to my hometown, Willstead, North Carolina. Now, I can hang with my friends, which is great. And the best part of all, I get to spend a lot more time with my family. Hey, I'm just trying to live my life as a normal kid, but some people still see me as the famous Jet Jackson. It says here the nugget weighed 63 pounds, four ounces. That must be about... 1,012 ounces at $254.50 an ounce. That's 257,554 bucks, give or take a few cents. I did some research. I wanted to be prepared when I found my nugget. Hold up, hold up. Your nugget? What makes you think there's any gold left? History. The Alaskan and Californian gold rushes each started with just one nugget. Why not the Willstead rush? That's exactly what Willstead needs. Thousands of people coming to dig the town up. Not gonna happen. The paper didn't give out the location of the discovery for that very reason. <laughs> but you know where it is. I do. The gold was found by the fishermen at the base of a large rock formation. That really narrows it down. Would the paper say fishermen if the guy wasn't fishing? I say no. Well, yeah, but... There's a lot of bodies of water in Wilstead. Rivers, lakes... Henderson Brook? It's the only place to catch anything this time of year. And the rock formation? Eagle Rock overlooks Henderson Brook. Yeah, I know the place. I got it all planned out. We leave tomorrow at dawn, and then if we get lucky, by tomorrow night, we'll both be rich. Well, I'll be rich. You'll be richer. Dawn? You know, tomorrow's Saturday, and there's really nothing I'd rather do than sleep in. Cartoons, maybe. I, I know you. You'll change your mind. I'm not better than cartoons. No, not at all. Gold. Sounds like fun. Jack. I take you off. Jack. I am the greatest. Jack. Ah! Hey, man, what are you doing here? Hey, I thought you might have changed your mind about coming to hunt for gold. Do I look like I changed my mind? It's 5 a.m. Actually, your clock's a little fast. It's 4.45. Sure you don't want to come? I'm positive. All I want to do is sleep. Jet, you all right? Oh, I heard a loud crash and I thought... Sorry, the, the loud crash was me. JB, 
What are you doing let, here? Let, in the... let me, let me, Adam Wood. Let me, you, Adam. You can put the bat down, Miss Coretta. It's just JB. Sorry, I just wanted Jet to come looking for gold with me, but uh, he wants to sleep. I understand your feelings, son. As a matter of fact, I think I'll go back to sleep myself. Sorry about waking you up, Miss Coretta. Hey, what about me? You woke me too. Sorry, Jet. JB. Use the stairs. Right. I remember when I was your age. I went looking for gold. Didn't get a thing. But boy, did I have fun. Good night, Jet. Night. We're just out for our usual Saturday morning hike. Healthy body, healthy mind. No, I'm not buying that. Okay, we're doing the same thing you were. Looking for gold. Gold? What gold? Nice try, Halliburton. We read the paper, too. So how come you didn't invite us? Oh, well, I just thought that you guys were gonna be... be um, we'll, we'll see Jet. Jet and I were... You guys want to go with me? Yep. yep. It's okay. When notice I didn't say if we find gold, what are you going to do with your share? I'd bring some culture to Willstead. Like tag team wrestling? I was thinking an art museum. Well, does the art gallery have any room for a small wrestling ring? Kayla, you are so, so nice. I mean, you find a fortune and you want to build an art gallery for everyone to enjoy? What about Kayla? Reach deep, down into the darkest, most selfish part of your soul, and tell us what Kayla really wants. OK, I'll try. A bathtub. A giant black bathtub with gold faucets with little angel faces on them. And then I'd buy all the best oils and soaps so I could spend hours, no, days, soaking in it. Kayla, you never really struck me as a bathtub-soaking kind of girl. <laughs> well, you told me to dig down deep, and I'm not through yet. Then I'd buy the best Arabian stallion so I could ride and ride and ride really fast. And oh, chocolate. Tons and tons of chocolate. All right, then... Kayla unleashed. <laughs> what about you, Roy? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it much. I'd buy a yellow Ferrari and a house in Spain and a white convertible Porsche for the house in Spain and jewelry and clothes and another set of clothes and jewelry for the house in Spain and a dog, golden retriever. One for the house in Spain, too? No. I just want one dog. So what about you, JB? I want everything. I want to do, have, taste, experience, go, drive, visit, smell, laugh at, cry at, everything. I think we're going to have to find a really, really big nugget. <laughs> hey, guys. Don't you want to know what I want? Not particularly. OK? Not really interested, right? Don't think so. Good, because I'm going to tell you anyway. I don't want any gold. I just want to spend the afternoon with my friends. Can I come along? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go through the bush. It's quicker. Uh, actually, I was planning on following the road. There's gold in them there hills. I'd hate to see someone get it before us. Come on, I'll show you the way. Check out the bridge. Yeah. And 
crossing, it'll knock off about a half hour on the way to Henderson Brook. Does that look like fun or what? Actually, it looks kind of wobbly to me. I'm up for it. It'll save a lot of time, JB. Oh, what's the hurry? Wouldn't we rather hike around the bridge? Come on, man, it'll be fun. What if we miss some gold nuggets on the way? It's a really nice hike around the gorge. All right, I'm afraid. It's not a crime. This bridge has always scared me, ever since I was a kid. Okay, I'll walk around. You guys can take the bridge. Nah, nah. You sure? Yeah, sure. I'll meet up with you guys at the brook. Okay. I'm going with Jet. You know what? I'm gonna walk around with JP. I'm ready, Jet. Let's do it. All right. Riley? Yeah? Can I ask you a question? Sure. Why'd you come with me instead of crossing the bridge? <laughs> I do stunt work all week. I didn't come out here for thrills, except for the kind that gold gives me. <laughs> Can I ask you a question now? Yeah, sure. I've been noticing that sometimes you and Jet have different ideas about how to do things, and you always seem to go along with his ideas. Yeah, it's just always kind of been that way with us. He likes to take control. And you like to give it up? It's not like that. It's, it's just easier to do things his way instead of putting up a fight. Kind of like this whole gold expedition was sort of your idea, but Jet's kind of taken over? I like to think of my relationship with Jet as kind of like a parade. He's the parade, and... I'm the audience on the curb, clapping as it goes by. Can't really have a parade without both, right? Maybe you should try being the parade for once. See what it's like. Oh, there you are. We thought you guys had found gold and skipped town without us. <laughs> be, they're on to us. This the spot? Yep, there's Eagle Rock. Oh, um, actually, I was thinking of a spot a little further up the creek. Up the creek? Uh, yeah, sure. What? Uh, no. This is the spot. So, uh, I thought we'd start by panning for little nuggets and then work our way up to the big mother load. <laughs> Man, I've been coming here for years. I haven't seen any gold. I'm just gonna go up the creek a little bit, check it out. Anybody wanna come with me? Not a chance. I'm through with walking for today. I'm just gonna take off my shoes and soak my feet while I pan for gold. Okay. This is as good a spot as any. Why don't you just hang with us, Jet? I got an instinct. Jet? Yeah. Be careful. Yeah, yeah. Anybody ready for lunch? I am. What about you, JB? JB? Sorry. I was just thinking. You guys ever think about your life as you live it? What are you talking about, JB? I was listening to my parents talk the other night. They were remembering what it was like when they were our age. All the fun they had, all the things they did. But they were talking about it in a way that made me think they hadn't really appreciated it while they were having it. You know what you mean? I mean, what if we're all having these amazing lives and we don't really realize it until we look back on it when we're old, like our parents? That's a scary thought. You know, sometimes I just get so caught up in the drama of my life, I forget how much fun I'm having. Me too. Me three. So what if we all make a pact? From now on, if one of us forgets to appreciate what we have, what we're doing, we'll remind each other. I don't want to get old and then remember I'm having a great life. I want to know it now. You know, JB, 
That's the greatest thing you've ever said. Count me in. Me three. You know, Jet's been gone quite a while now. With his luck, he's probably tripped over the biggest gold nugget any of us have ever seen. Snake, my leg. It's good to see you. <laughs> Let me see it. Ooh, looks deep. Man, what do we do? Carry me home. I need to get some help. No, I don't think moving you is a good idea. It's okay, man. Carry me back. No. Moving you will just get your heart pumping, which will spread the poison faster. For once, Jackson, you're gonna have to rely on me. Right on, JP. Kayla, in my backpack's a first aid kit. Get it out. Are you gonna cut into the wound? No, too much chance of greater infection. In the kit are some antiseptic cleaning pads. Clean the wound and then find a t-shirt or a towel. Wet that down and keep the wound cool. It'll keep it from swelling. How do you know all this? All part of living in the country. Uh, Riley, you're the fastest runner out of all of us. You need to run home and get some help. I may be the fastest runner, but I am the worst with directions. And I wasn't paying any attention when we were coming in here. So, um, you'll have to go. Me? All right, I'll go. Riley, keep Jet lying down. There's a space blanket in my backpack. That'll keep him warm. Just keep talking to him and don't let him get excited. No matter what, don't let him fall asleep. I'll be back with help as soon as I can. Don't worry, pal. I was lactose intolerant. Want to hear about how I lost my first tooth? No. Well, I was five. I was in a park, minding my own business, when all of a sudden, this ball came flying out of the middle of nowhere. Whoa. when I say don't look down. That's when the doctor realized that I didn't have a terrible tropical disease after all. Just a crayon up my nose. I think it was fuchsia. Jet. Jet, don't fall asleep. Kayla, help me. Um... It's raining. I can 
I knew you could do it, JB. Yeah, well, you know, being the parade every once in a while isn't so bad. Hey, guys. Well, they said he's gonna be fine. <laughs> They'll fly him to the hospital and give him some anti-venom. Should be up and around in a few days, and... <sighs> Thanks, guys. Thanks. Sorry you didn't find your gold. Well, the sheriff's wrong about not finding any gold. I think we found a lot of gold today. Come on, guys. Take a ride with us in the chopper. No, thanks. I think I've had my fill of heights for the day. <laughs> Kayla, Riley? We're, We're with, with him. him. <laughs> 